we can't really help it, so. If you hear snores, this is what you're hearing. <laughs> Welcome back to Frugally Decadent. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jess and I live in Sonoma County, California, uh, where the 38th parallel meets the Pacific Ocean. Uh, on this channel, what we're doing is we're cooking our way around the world 500 miles at a time. We are currently in Torre Vieja, Spain. Torre Vieja is on Spain's Costa Blanca, which is uh, right on the Mediterranean. It looks absolutely beautiful. Beaches right in town, lovely cafes right by the shore. You can go fishing off the pier. It's got lots of fishermen, it's got its own port, lots of seafood restaurants, just looks absolutely lovely. And so because it's a seafood town, Today we are making arroz a banda. Arroz a banda is kind of like paella, but I think you can't call it specifically paella if you're not making the specific paella recipe. And so this is not paella, it's arroz a banda, which means rice on the side. But it's seafood, it's saffron, it's uh, rice, so similar themes to paella. Today we're following a recipe from another YouTuber. His name is Combaleche3 or Combaleche Tres en Español. Uh, he just looks like a great cook and he does a really fun job on his channel, so you should go check him out. I'm going to leave a link to his channel and his blog below. Um, he does an amazing job. So he, over here at Frugally Decadent, we are cutting some corners because one, it's locked down, and two, well, we just don't have all the ingredients that he has, and we don't have the abundant seafood that the Mediterranean coast provides. Finally, there's just one last thing I wanted to say. Uh, in his video, he mentions his friends Jose Ramon and Pilar. Pilar, a dos muy buenos amigos que tengo, que son Jose Ramon y su mujer Pilar. Para vosotros va dedicada íntegramente esta receta. And I think that he is saying that they asked him for the recipe. My Spanish is only so-so, so I think I understand. But uh, I just wanted to give a quick shout out and say hello, Jose Ramon and Pilar. Greetings from California. Hola. We've got one tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of parsley, and about a quarter tablespoon of, um, or maybe just like a teaspoon of saffron because it's pricey. And then we've got uh, one lemon, an onion, uh, four cloves of garlic. His recipe calls for three, but my cloves are kind of small, so I did four. Uh, and then we've got uh, two dried peppers. These are, I used uh, New Mexico chilies. He uses chorizo chilies in his, but I couldn't find those. Uh, and then we've got one container of seafood stock. I think he makes his fresh. Some cherry tomatoes. His original recipe calls for two um, regular tomatoes. And then he's using like amazing, glorious seafood fresh from the sea, but we're being thrifty. And so we're just using a frozen seafood blend from Trader Joe's. Uh, this is a blend of shrimp, calamari, and uh, bay scallops. And then we've got two and a half cups of rice. And so that's what we're gonna be working with to make our arroz a banda today. his recipe, he uses two uh, medium-sized tomatoes, but I didn't have those. I just have regular cherry tomatoes. And so um, those would be really hard to grate by hand. So we're just going to blend them really quickly. Um, and I think it'll be pretty much the same, hopefully. Um, if not, don't come for me. So now we've got our two New Mexico peppers. He calls them pimientos choriceros. We're calling them uh, New Mexico chili peppers. You need to soak these for two hours before you um, cook them. It's very satisfying to open them, I have to say. You just kind of run your hand down the middle. And then you give them a little washy rinse in their own water. And I think, yeah. I think we did okay. I think we, I'm sure people who've done this before will say that we lost a little bit of important stuff, but looks good to me. All right, so it's time to get our 
seafood stock cooking. His stock looks so good. He has, he's putting like the peels of his shrimp in it. It's clearly made from like, you know, straight from real seafood. I mean, I think this is made from real seafood too, technically, but it comes in a box. So it's a little bit less autentico, as they would say in Spain. <laughs> Up our garlic. We're going to add that in and just saute it for a little bit. You don't want to burn it. We're just frying it up. All right, and then once that gets going, I don't want to put my face too, too close to the hot oil, but I want you to see me. <laughs> so this is our half of our onion. Here we go. Chopped up in little tiny pieces. Frying that up. We're gonna turn our heat up just a, a tad. Okay, now comes the fun part. We're adding the uh, the dried peppers. Okay, now it's time to add our seafood mix. So here we go. We've got our Trader Joe's seafood mix, a blend of shrimp, calamari, and uh, scallops, and we're gonna put this in the pot. Time to add our parsley, dried parsley, and our saffron. What he does is he crushes his saffron with uh, the back of a spoon, and I think that kind of like opens it up and maybe, I don't know, opens it up and makes it ready for its destiny, which is to go in my belly. We've added that, we're gonna stir away in our pot, blend it all in, looks, so good, smells so good. What cook in this? It's looking good. Yeah. It definitely smells good. Wow. Yeah. What time is it? What, what, what time is this gonna be ready? I think it, it's gonna probably in like half an hour. It smells good. This is a seafood cup. Yep. Wow. Can't wait. A rosa banda. A rosa banda. A rosa banda. Okay, now that we've added our seafood mix, the next thing is to add our tomato. So uh, into the pot it goes. I'm gonna stir that in. All right, the time has come to add our, our rice. Now I will say again, paella professionals, please don't come at me. This is long grain basmati rice because it's what we have in the house and we're on lockdown and I can't go to the store just to get the perfect um, paella rice. So it's basmati rice, it's what we have. It's gonna be delicious. We're gonna love it. We're gonna add it to the pot now. All right, we're stirring our rice. It smells so good. It smells like when I was a kid, there was this old amusement park that we used to go to in Rhode Island called Rocky Point. And in Rocky Point, they sold all kinds of uh, seafood. It was on the shore. And this is something about this is bringing back Rocky Point vibes. I don't know why. Maybe there were lots of, maybe they were making paella. Who knows? So we have added our seafood stock to our rice. It smells amazing and it's uh, steaming away. It smells so good. It's gonna be so good. Thank you, Cambaleche Trace, for this recipe. Muchas gracias. Muchas, muchas gracias, indeed, muchas gracias. Okay, we're also gonna add our tablespoon of turmeric. I think it's supposed to be turmeric, I'll tell you this. His recipe says, un cocharito de colorante. La cucharada de postre de condimento colorante. And based on my high school, high school Spanish and Google Translate, we're pretty sure that that's turmeric. It's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Okay. Yellow paint, if you want. We could also put yellow paint. It might be yellow paint. 
we're not sure. Okay, and then we're also just gonna add a spoon of, oh, we're at the end of our salt. Uh-oh. I'm getting too started. Yeah, okay. That'll, it'll be fine. You got that. Okay, so now that all the ingredients are in, we're gonna leave it cooking for 20 minutes. And um, mm, that smells so good, I can't wait. It's gonna be so good. Okay, 20 minutes. See you in 20 minutes, I'm gonna wash the dishes. Okay, it's been on the stove for 20 minutes. So now for the last five minutes, we're gonna just pop the lid on it, give it five more minutes, and then we should be ready to eat our arroz a banda. I think that's an approval. Sam's gone back for thirds, so that's a good sign. Go to the chef. I'm gonna kiss the chef. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Our next destination is uh, Trapani, Sicily. So see you in Sicily.